Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this look for you and I use the new Naked palette and it is so pretty. The colors are straight up my alley. They are placed so nicely together that I was just like a moth to a flame. And so I wanted to play around with some of the colors that I don't normally do for you guys. I came up with this look. My husband actually came into my office and said, wow, you and I love that because I don't normally wear these kind of eyeshadow colors. This is the look and I hope that you are excited to watch this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so sorry. My name is Stephanie and I'm so thrilled that you decided to watch this video. Please do hit subscribe. I would love it love it love it and so yeah let's get straight into the look okay guys I'm super excited for this video because all these products are new to me minus a few face products but um, as far as the majority of them these are all brand new products I'm going to go in with my Mac prep and prime I love this primer because it really does leave my skin nice and smooth and ready for my foundation now I'm just going to go in with my Farsali drops and this is the glass skin drops. I know I said I wasn't going to use this product, but the more I wore it, the more I did like how my skin looked. I do wish I picked up a darker shade. What I'm going to do is add some of these drops. This is the Flawless Creator by Dermablend, and these drops are just pigment drops. You can add them to moisturizers. You can add them to what I, like what I'm going to do just to enhance color. I'm just gonna get this on and as you can see it's a lot better I'm gonna blend this in to move a little quicker so I'm going to go in with my derma blend concealer to conceal any of the acne marks that are peeking through but I'm just going to leave the rest of the face because like I said I love how the bare minerals cream gel cream foundation or tinted moisturizer wore so I'm not going to get this all over and then for underneath my eyes while this just sets a little bit I like it to set a little bit before I start blending it out I'm going to go in with this concealer from bare minerals just for these under eye pockets and now I'm going to just softly tap it's like an eraser <laughs> gonna move on to our eyes and for the eyes I'm going to open up this bad boy right here and it is the new naked palette I was going to use the original eyeshadow primer potion but decided that I'm going to go in with my Eden eyeshadow primer potion this one is my favorite so I just want to stick to what I love there's literally like nothing like this primer I love it I'm just gonna fill in my brows really, really quickly. They don't need that much. They're actually looking quite tame today. Well, maybe this one needs a little bit more work. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Nudie and I'm going to take that right underneath the brows. Now we're going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to go in with Whiskey which is just a really pretty brown tone color. So these eyeshadows are a little bit powdery so let's move really carefully because I already did most of my face. It's falling. I'm just going to apply some under eye powder. So while the color is going on really nicely and it's blending out properly, the color in the pan and what it looks like on my eye are different. Which makes me a little bit sad because I was really, really excited about that color. Okay, so I'm hoping that if I put some of Ghost Town, it will warm up a bit on the eye. So as you can see, this color is very, very warm. It's like clay, brick, but uh, you never know now. 
Ah, there you go. That makes me happier. Eyeshadows are very, very pigmented so far. So good. I'm going to go in with Tex, which is this really, really beautiful deep teal color. And I'm hoping that it will look the way I see it in my head. So I don't know when my camera shut off, but I was saying, I just went back and forth between different size brushes to make sure that I did this as neatly as possible. For the inner portion, I'm going to go in with Hold Them, and it's this gorgeous coppery gold color that I just need, need to use. I hope it's as pretty as it looks. So it's a little bit flaky. I think it wants my brush to be wet because I'm all about trying to give these products the benefit of the doubt. And so far, I do like it, minus that one eyeshadow. It's definitely prettier in the pan. Okay, I got it really wet now. There you go. Oh, so pretty just want to blend where that blue meets the gold because you'll have a strong line, especially that one is matte and the other is a shimmer. Okay, so after a lot of thinking, I'm going to go in with a liner. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes and the shade is 52L. I remember there was this time where I was like walking around and didn't realize like my eyeliner was all the way down here like, like that. And I just don't understand why no one told me. No one. No. To smoke out the teal, I'm going to go in with Ghost Town. And Ghost Town is the warmer color that I put in my crease, not the dark brown. So first I'm going to tap it on exactly where I want it to meet the teal. And then we're going to smudge it. So this is how your eyes will look completed without any falsies. If you are not someone who wears falsies, this is what they will look like. Because this look is a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to go with falsies. And the lashes that I'm going to use are from these Lily Lashes. They're their new luxury lashes. And they sent me this. So I just wanted to show you guys. If you're interested, this is not sponsored, but they did send this to me, so I wanted to show you. So for this look, I decided to go with the Lily Lashes in Cash, and I really, really like these lashes because they flare out at the end, and that's kind of the look of the eyeshadow, so I wanna mimic exactly what's happening over here to really exaggerate it and to make it a little bit more dramatic. For my lips, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop pencil and the color is called BFF. And the lip is from Fenty Beauty and this color is called Uncuff.
And this completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun playing around in these products with you guys. Um, I don't normally do these kind of videos for you when I play around in my PR. This is fun. I'm definitely thinking that I should make this like a normal thing. You guys get to see how I feel about things initially and that is really important I believe. If this is the kind of video that you would like to see, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Also that helps YouTube know that this video doesn't totally blow. If you want to see beauty by lee's channel grow then definitely help me out by giving this video a thumbs up commenting and all of that jazz also if you haven't yet hit subscribe that is the best way to make this channel grow <laughs> thank you so much again for watching this video till my next video stay beautiful